hello there. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a game that you can play to help encourage your child to read more words, but then also be having fun. So if we haven't met, my name's Audrey from AudreyTutors.com. And on this channel, you will find videos about handwriting and how to help your child become a fluent, strong reader so that they can learn more and more about the world. So let's talk about find the mouse. Mouse, what you do is you have these houses created and then you are able to type the word into the house um, that you are wanting your child to practice blending. And how it works is the child will pick a um, house and read the word. And then you ask, little mouse, little mouse, are you hiding behind the, say, ghost house? And then you move the ghost house. You say, oh, is it there? Nope. And then say, is it the kid reads again and they try and they ask, is it behind the table house? Little mouse, little mouse, are you behind the table house? And they move it and they found the mouse. Now, let me talk, tell you a couple things about this. One, you could use this just in between um, practicing reading with your kids and do some work and then come and find the mouse or go back and do some work and come and find the mouse. Or you can do this as one activity in itself where they practice blending as they read the word and then they can write the word and mark the sounds and then look and see if the mouse is there. So to make these houses, I'm just gonna show you on a blank slide. You can just click and make your um, screen blank. And then you're gonna insert the shapes and that we start out with a square. We make it a square and then we want to do the triangle. So we go up to the shapes, click, do the triangle, make it fit where it looks like a house. Now the key is, is you want to click on the triangle and shift and click on the square and then you can right click and go down to group. Now this way, when you move the house, the whole house moves and not just one shape. To change the color, you go up to the little paint filler and you can change it. Say you want it to be a orange house. Then you can just double click on the square and you can write the targeted word. So if I'm focusing on O words, I might write the word float. I want to make sure it's big enough for my child to read. So I want to up the font. That's too big. So maybe 40 enter. And then we want to center it. And you can center it. Then you can copy and paste it. You can have all the houses the same color, or you can change the colors um, to help if you need to scaffold it. Um, in the comments below, ask me um, if you don't know what that means. And then you can change your words out. So we can do boat, so bow, bow, um, home. Then we just have to adjust that because it's a little too big and just adjust the size until it fits on the page. And we could do grow and then grow. Okay, then to get the mouse, you will wanna to go to insert image, search web. And when we're up in the search box, we'll just put mouse, make mouse. And so then I find the mouse and I drag it in. Um, and then I change, I adjust the um, size of the mouse so it will fit behind the house. And then if I click on it and go to order, I send it back and then it's hiding behind the house. And then you are ready with your O words 
to play Find the Mouse. So I hope you enjoy this game and your child can um, enjoy this game. There is also a way that you can make this, um, you can print this off and use it as um, a tangible game without the computer, but sometimes the computer screen makes it more fun. So thank you for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you're being notified when new videos come out and let me know um, in the comments below um, if you plan to play this game with your kid. Bye. See you next time.